Hampton's new mayor cut his first cake in an official capacity today, having taken office just 10 days ago. For this, his town's 372nd birthday, neighborhood children blew out the candles, and afterward he spoke of the direction he hopes to lead the city. Hampton has been somewhat of a stagnant community in the last 10 or 12 years. Where population has grown very little. I think that growth is important. It's got to be the right kind of growth. I think it was just sort of a shaking out period uh, the last eight to ten years. And now I think that, that certainly we're on the verge of, of going forward even to bigger and better things. He cited the Pembroke Avenue corridor and Magruder Boulevard as target areas he hopes to address in his efforts to improve the city's image. Eason says physical improvements like streets and sidewalks and stricter enforcement of building codes will go a long way towards attracting service and light industries. Aside from the problems of industry, the mayor hopes to capitalize on some of the city's natural assets, like Buck Row Beach here. While not exactly a vacation destination to the world, at least one California developer is enthusiastic about the area's potential, a potential that's best seen on Queensway Mall today as Hampton celebrated Founders Day with all that makes up an old-fashioned town fair. Ironically, this city's return to its roots took place in a newly redeveloped area, but one that still needs a street festival to keep its sidewalks full. The mayor hopes events like this one will help restore his community's sense of pride in itself. In Hampton, I'm Kathleen Bachman, The Daily News.